Turning now to the war in the Middle East. The United Nations top court instructing Israel to immediately halt its military offensive in Rafah. Fox 5's Sharon Crowley joins us now in studio. And Sharon, how likely is it that Israel is going to comply with well, this? Well, Israel is fighting it, Natasha. There are several new developments coming out of the Middle East. The bodies of three more Israeli hostages abducted on October 7th have been found in the International Court of Justice based in The Hague, ruling they will investigate genocide allegations brought against Israel by South Africa. Israel's war against Hamas rages on in Gaza as the IDF announces soldiers have recovered the bodies of three more Israeli hostages, raising fears other captives may also be dead. The three men are victims of the October 7th attack. At least 100 more Israeli hostages are still believed to be held captive in Gaza. We will not stop fighting for their freedom. Criticism of Israel's conduct in the war in Gaza has been growing. The United Nations' top legal body once again ordering Israel to stop its attacks on the city of Rafah. Israeli forces have killed at least 35,000 Palestinians since October 7th, according to the Hamas-controlled Gaza Health Ministry. Under the Genocide Convention, Israel must immediately halt its military offensive. Israel's prime minister has repeatedly said that won't happen. Rafah is the, where four of the 24 terrorist battalions of the Hamas terrorist army are there. We can't leave them there any more than the Allies could leave 20% uh, of the Nazi army uh, intact in Germany. In Washington, the Speaker of the House issuing a show of support for the U.S. ally. We will soon be hosting Prime Minister Netanyahu at the Capitol for a joint session of Congress. If Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu does address Congress, a number of Democrats say they will boycott the joint session. Uh, we're talking about this being uh, a genocide that's taking place, that he's administering. Why in the world would we invite him to address us? Well, the top United Nations court also ordering Israel to open the Rafah crossing between Egypt and Gaza to allow humanitarian aid in. Here in the U.S., President Biden is expected in New York tomorrow to deliver the commencement address at West Point. Steve. All right, thanks, Sharon.